Here it is, Volley. We've made it to the surface biome, dude. See that over there? That's the obelisk. Once we get there, everything's gonna be okay, dude. Come on, let's go. Okay. To the obelisk, bro. Hey, what's that in the distance? Yeah, that's a pretty big rock. What a weird place to put a rock. What do you make of that? Wait, that doesn't look very rocky. Is it? Wait a minute, that's not a rock at all, dude! What the heck? What is that? Looks like a basilic. <laughs> Get it? Because it licks. <laughs> 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 or as the nerds like to call it, a basilisk. It's a basilisk, come on. Yo, what's up, citizens of the shaft? So in today's very exciting video, part one of, I'm hoping to get four videos out again today, but I stayed up 24 hours yesterday, so let's try not to do that again, because I don't want to destroy my health. But in today's very exciting video, we're going to be showing you everything you need to know about the Basilic, one of Ark's newest and most incredibly versatile, most powerful creatures ever, ever. Aberration is shaping up to be a total pay-to-win expansion with these creatures you're going to be able to get your hands on. So make sure you stick around, watch the entire video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications. Let's go right in. So here we are. This is where it starts. Look at my GPS. This is where you're gonna want to head. This is the start of your journey towards taming a basilisk. It was a little bit tough getting down here. We had to kill some things, but what we're after here, what's absolutely essential to acquire your very own basilisk is to come down into these trenches and to find fertilized rock drake eggs. Now, you're gonna wanna be kinda quick about this, and you're gonna wanna bring some good gear, because, first of all, you got radiation, and then second of all, you've got a little bit of an issue with the fact that rock drakes are aggressive, and you've got nameless! Oh. <laughs> hey, that worked. Wow. Cool, bro. So when you're down in the caverns, let's move pretty quickly. Bro, cover me. Don't let any, uh, rock drakes get on my behind. Let's see. Back. Okay, see that up there? See those little inlets? That's just like with the with the rock drakes. Uh, sorry, not the rock drakes. That's just like with the wyverns. There's a rock drake. 360 no scope, bro. There's another one. Bro, they're all over the place! I, I, got, oh. I got the <laughs> Good job. Okay, so see these uh these little inlets up there. What you're going to want to do is either use, uh, picks or something to get up there. I'm just going to use a grappling hook. If I can get shot off. Really? Bro, my grappling hook's not working. It's okay. Here. You can't Take grapple this. hook on here. Huh. Wow, okay, so I made a mistake going into this. So, there you go, guys. Just as an FYI, you can't climb the walls with a normal grappling hook. Okay. Did you know that, Lolly? I did not know that. Wow. Okay, well, it's a good thing you're watching this video so you don't make that mistake. You're gonna need to make, use, uh, picks, which are kind of a pain because they break really easy. Go, go, go! Ah! Here we go, guys. There's one of the eggs. So we're gonna grab this, and let's take a look. Boom. Fertilized rock drag egg. Grab as many of these as you can, and these are what the basilisk loves to eat. So, let's go ahead, grab a couple more of these, and go get on to taming. So after some deliberation, Lolly and I kinda, we, we talked it over, and we've worked out what is hands down the smartest and best way to tame a basilisk. This thing is actually pretty hard to tame normally, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a rock drake. 
rock tricks are super mobile and you're gonna be able to get in and get out because the problem is trying to tame a basilisk you gotta tame it with fertilized rock drake eggs and the issue you're gonna run into is the feeding intervals can be quite long we read somewhere on the internet that it could be up to 30 minutes so you're gonna want to be able to toss an egg down and then get away otherwise if you stay in the area the basilisk is just gonna abuse you all right get us get us uh can you find us our snake we had a snake over here oh it's out it's out hold on all right guys so on the back of the uh the rock track dude i'm gonna try to throw it let it get close i'll throw it now throw it now Okay, okay. It's coming. Or not? Okay, I have an egg on the ground. Okay, so there we go. There's our egg. And where did the snake go? We need to get that snake aggroed on us again. Dude, these nameless. Oh my goodness. See, so this is why you're going to want to use a rock trick, because this is silly. All right, come on, snake. Aggro on us. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Snake, come on. Eat the, eat the egg. Eat the egg. There we go. We did it. All right, so we got our snake. And, and, and whistle it and get us out of here, bro. Get us out of here. We got all kinds of... <laughs> we got everything on us. Come on, come on, come on. You're moving too fast. Let the snake catch up. All right, so there we go, guys. So typically what you're going to want to do is swoop in with the, ba uh, with the rock drake, get up to your basilisk, and have another rider on the seat dump one of these eggs down and let the basilisk eat it. And while it's eating and you're waiting for that feeding interval, Fly off with the rock drake somewhere safe. That way the basilisk doesn't destroy you. Now, another quick thing you gotta, 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 gotta keep in mind with this is don't press E when you're using the eggs. Don't press E or you'll eat the fertilized rock drake egg. I know that's kind of common and should be obvious, but no one seems... Well, everyone makes that mistake, so press O, not E. All right, on to the next part. Now that we got out of that situation, okay, so I, I was experimenting with some of the features of the Basilic, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this thing is ridiculous. I'm starting to think that Aberration is pay to win DLC because what the hell? Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what it does. So your Basilisk, once you tame it, is going to have three moves and a cutesy cosmetic thing. So you got your standard left click bite. Beautiful. You've got a poison spit. Poison spit. Boom, boom, boom. Which is very, very similar to the poison spit from a wyvern. So this is basically a ground wyvern, kind of. But I would argue that it's actually even better than a wyvern, a poison wyvern. So you got that. You've got... A, a C taunt, a little roar, cute, and then check this out. This is a huge one. This is a game changer. See how we have a raptor over there? Let's see if I can get it to aggro on us. Okay, so here we go. We have this crocodile looking thing, and it's trying to hit me. Oh no, and I got a raptor on me too, bros. What do I do? Well, the third move you've got is a dig. This is probably... <laughs> What I think is the coolest feature we have ever seen in Ark, ever. So you, you can see that the raptor's just giving up. Well, and they both gave up. So what this does is this lets you hide. You can hide underground, and you can burrow around. And you can use this to get around the... Get out of my way! You can use this to, you can use this to get a, around the map actually quite rapidly, while also being undetected by other creatures and also unhitable. You can't take damage while you're underground. It's like the Perlovia. The only way that you're going to take damage is if you're hit with fire or is if you're hit with explosives. So if you need to get around the map quickly and efficiently without running into reapers and getting attacked by everything, you're going to want to use one of these basilisks. The other thing that I want to talk about here is Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to demonstrate this. Oh, oh, oh. Before, before I'm jumping all over the place, but before I do that, be aware there's one drawback to burrowing underground. And you're not seeing it on my screen for some reason, but when you're underground, it uses up oxygen. So you're going to want to make sure that you have a... I mean, this is crazy, right? But you might want to pump some points into oxygen because... This is, you, you'll, you'll drown if you're underground for too long. So that's kind of the, the trade-off. Okay, and the next thing I want to talk about is, holy cow, dude, this thing's overpowered. 
check this out. So, the left click bite is really good. Doing 100 base damage on a level 150. Look at the poison though! Oh my gosh! What the hell, dude? This does so much damage! The Basilisk is insane! With its- with- with its damage output and how- how much of a capable combat team it is. Look at that! 350 damage on direct impact. What?! Three hits and I take out a giraffe! This is insanity! So you're gonna wanna- I mean, it's tough to tame these things, but let me tell you, boy, is it worth it. Oh my goodness. When you're ra when you're going raiding or whatever, you're gonna wanna burrow underground and just have a fleet of these things roll right up on the enemy base and just start shooting poison at all their teams. You'll just wipe everything out in seconds. It's crazy. So then we now get into the discussion of what should, how should you prioritize leveling this thing? Well, this is where Lolly comes in handy because he's played how many hours on this game? 7,000. 7,000 hours on this game. He's hardcore official PvP. He knows all the tricks in the book. Lolly, based on what you're seeing, what would your recommendations be for somebody who's just tamed this thing? How should they distribute their levels? Well, you'd probably want to put movement speed if you're a PvPer. Movement oh. speed, you see someone running around, they can't escape you. It already has a nice base movement speed. You okay, do movement good speed. damage, and your poison has a good uh, lock on. Yeah, I mean, it's super easy to shoot the poison. Like, I always hit things. Look at that. It's so easy. That, that's ridiculous. You could also put damage. So when you're chasing someone or something, you just kill it really fast. Now, let's look at the stats here real quick. Not mine. So look at these stats. This is the base stats for just a 149 tame. And holy cow. So we've got five, we've got a quite a quite an appreciable HP pool of 5500. You're probably going to want to pump the uh, points into it until you get around 10,000. But it, look, here's the real story here. Wait. Oh my goodness. 2860 weight. For a level one, uh, well, well, for a base, for base stats. Almost 3,000 freaking weight for a base, for, for, uh, for your base stats. That's insane. And then look at that melee, 290. This is why we're just crushing everything. These base stats are insanity. So, I mean, you don't really need to put any points in weight. This thing's already great. You might want to pump some points into health. You might want to hit stamina because when you're underground, it does use stamina. Other than that, I mean, it's and, and like Lolly said, some movement speed so you can always catch things. But this is a super well-rounded, fantastic tame. You're going to want to add to your collection. So there it is. You now know everything you need to know about the Basilisk. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> hey, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications. This is my first video for the day. Well, my day anyway, because I woke up at 5 p.m. after being up for 24 hours yesterday. But this is my first video for the day. I'm hoping to get out another two, so stick around. I got more vids coming, more hot stuff. I'm considering doing a Rock Drake video, so let me know down below if you want me to make a video covering everything you need to know in depth on the Rock Drake. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video!